then th there's going to be a, um, a change that has to occur from thinking that there are certain people within the organization that are somehow qualified to t talk to a customer versus training everybody in your organization to be ambassadors of your company, right? So this is a real trust issue. I, you know, do I trust just my PR and marketing departments and maybe customer service to have communications or do I, I trust everybody to have communications and do I encourage everybody to participate in, in forum um, and discussion boards and on Twitter and on Facebook, do I encourage everybody to have interactions with customers? So um, if a big business wants to engage in these conversational dynamics, but they only want to do it through certain points, through certain old school kind of points, I kind of talk about how you can use, that's, that's an example of how you use a, a 1.0 tool or, or a 2.0 tool in a 1.0 kind of way, right? Mm. Uh, like I, I work for DOD, so, so pardon, pardon the military examples, but, um, you know, you can, you can hammer in a nail with the butt of a rifle, but that's not the best use of that piece of technology. Right. Um, so yeah, you're using a, a highly sophisticated piece of technology, to do something really, uh, al almost primitive and, and you create a lot of additional work for yourself because it's, it's not going to do that well. So yeah, you could you could create these choke points within the organization um, if you want to engage in these conversational dynamics, unless you realize that the whole organization can become ambassadors uh, and can carry on these conversations. And then you spread uh, the work around, you spread uh, the conversation around, and you increase the the potential footprint of the company on their customer base.